Okay, in this question, we're given a matrix here, and it says the table shows the average journey time in minutes between towns A, B, C, D, E, e and F. It says using Prim's algorithm, starting at A, you must start at A, find the minimum spanning tree for the network, you must list the arcs uh, that form your tree in the order in which you selected them. Now, if you look in your answer booklet, they give you a copy of this matrix. So we're going to do prims via the matrix method because we don't have a picture for it at the moment. So we're going to do part A um, using this matrix. So it said start at A. So the first thing we do is we call A number one and we cross out row A like that. Now we look down the numbered columns and we find the smallest. And the smallest here is clearly AB. So AB is our next one. So we write AB is equal to 85. So that makes B number two. So we write number two over B, and we cross out everything apart from what we circled in uh, row B. Now we look down the two columns we've uh, numbered, and the smallest here out of all of these, if we look, is clearly this one here. So BC must be the next one. So BC of 100 is the next smallest. So we call C number three as follows, and we cross out everything in row C. Now we look down these three columns to find the smallest. The smallest out of all of these, I think you can see, is the 135. So we circle the 135. It means that BD is next. So we write BD135 is next. And we call number D our fourth uh, column, and we cross out everything in row D. Now we look down these four columns to find the smallest. The smallest out of these looks to me to be the 150. So BF is our next one, so we write BF is our 150, that's our next chosen one. That makes F our fifth one to number, and we cross out everything in row F. And lastly, we look through all the five columns here, and the smallest out of all of these is this one, which is EF. So therefore, our last choice must be EF, and that's equal to 140. And that means we label that number six and we cross out the entire row there. And we've done prims via the matrix method. Now it says use prims as starting A to find the minimum spanning tree for this network. You must list the arcs in the order you selected them. So we found it and we've listed them in the order in which we found them. So that's a perfect answer at that point. It didn't ask us to state the minimum spanning tree as yet. Now for part B, it says draw your tree given in diagram one in, in your answer booklet. So draw your tree. They want to draw this minimum spanning tree here. So we're going to do this in this diagram. AB is in it. BC is in it. BD is in it. Uh, BF is in it. And EF is in it. Now, there is a problem here, you must write the uh, weights on. If you don't write the weights on, you run a risk of losing a mark here. So AB was 85, BC was 100, BD was 135, BF was 150, so BF here is 150, and EF is 140. You know you've done it when, if there are one, two, three, four, five, six, um, nodes, there will always be five connectors in the minimum spanning tree, and there's one, two, three, four, five indeed. Okay, so we've done the first two parts. Find the weight of your minimum spanning tree. Well, this is super easy, this part here. So we've done B, C diagram, we'll just say. So for part C, the weight, well, we just have to add these numbers up. So the weight is 85, add 100, add 135 add 150 and add 140. So we get the calculator out, 85 add 100, add 135, add 150, add 140, and we get ourselves 610. Now don't just write 610, make sure you state the units. This was um, all about journey times in minutes, so it's 610 minutes. Don't forget the unit, you run the risk of dropping a mark if you do. Okay, so we're all the way up to here. Then it says Kruskal's algorithm may be used to find a minimum spanning tree. So we're thinking we're using Kruskal's, but no. All it says is state three differences between Prim's and Kruskal's. 
So this is quite an unusual question, um, but we need to know the differences between prims and cross curls. So I'm going to show you three of my favourites, the easiest ones to remember. The first one is, look at prims. They gave us a matrix. So you can, uh, uh, you can find a minimum span entry using prims using a matrix, but you can't use in cross curls. That's a nice, easy one to remember. So um, we can just state um, that prims, prims can be applied to a network in matrix form but cross scales can't. That's a nice easy one to remember especially as this question had a matrix in it. So uh, number two, let's have another go at number two. Now um, it's about how they work. If you think about prims, when you're doing prims, prims grows in a connected fashion. It always grows out from the current uh, tree, um, whereas cross scales can be sp uh, spread. It can grow here, grow here, grow here, like that. So one comment is to say is that prims grows in a connected fashion, whereas Cruscals does not have to. Okay, and another example, a, a, a sort of a corollary of this in a way, is that um, prims, um, you don't have to check for cycles because it grows in it grows in a connected fashion you don't have to check for cycles or in cross scales you do so in prims you don't have to check for cycles but in cross scales you do you do now another one, I'll just write a couple more just in case you want to remember a couple more. Um, in cross scales you always start in the with the shortest, shortest arc, whereas in prims you can start anywhere. So I would write in prims, you can start at any node, at any node, whereas in cross scales you must start in the shortest arc. In cross scales you must start with the shortest arc. And I think that's about it. Between those four, you learn those four now and if they ever come up again, you'll always be covered. So there we go. That's uh, our eight marks on this question.